This is a blast from the past. This is a tiny little LED rechargeable flashlight. Well, let me demonstrate. I'll turn it on. And these have been around for so long that the last time I made a video about one of them was 10 years ago. It's very small. I'll zoom in a bit so you can actually see it. And the idea behind these is that you twist the cap to turn it on and off. It's got a little lens in the end and an LED and it puts out a modest amount of light. But to recharge it, you simply bayonet cap the end off and plug it directly into a USB charger and it trickle charges. I don't know if there's any LEDs or anything. Oh, there is a little red LED glowing in there. That's interesting. Anyway... The previous ones had rather abysmal circuitry. It varied, actually. Um, so let's take this one apart and see what the circuitry is like. So I'm not sure how well this is going to come apart. I do recall that they were quite difficult to get open because they were kind of glued together, maybe. Not sure. This is actually popping out with a little bit of force. Oh, there it goes. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Has the circuitry changed? Not really. Okay, tell you what, uh, I'll take the picture and we'll reverse engineer it because this may be a little tiny bit shady. One moment, please. Okay, let's explore. There's an interesting twist in the design, but it's not been implemented properly, but you can pass your own thoughts on that. This arrangement of the switch here, there's a standard slider switch to turn the LED on and off. And the rotating front lens simply has a little guide here that fits over the LED and that switch so that as it is rotated, it toggles it on and off. Very, very simple. So what do we have? We have the USB supply come in. The negative is common to a lot of the circuitry. It's common to the LED. It's common to the little red charging indicator and the lithium cell. The positive comes via a 6 to 8 ohm resistor, 6, 8, 0, 6, 8, and a 0 is a decimal multiplier, so it's just 6 to 8 ohms. And then it goes from there via this 2K resistor through the red LED, the charge indicator LED, and also via this T4 diode, which is just basically a surface mount version of the classic 1N4148 diode. Standard silicon diode, and it goes to charge the lithium cell. When you turn the LED on, it's a diverts the current from the lithium cell via the switch. This is the switch. Uh, via this 10 ohm resistor, quite a low value, to the LED. And it's run the LED at about 80 milliamps, which is quite ferocious for basically a standard little straw hat LED. Let me show you the schematic. So on the schematic, we have the USB charge port, and I, during tests, measured 5.08 volts, uh, 5.08 volts from the power bank. And that goes via what I thought was going to be a potential divider to give a more realistic charging voltage here. But in reality, it's got this main current limiting resistor, then the 2K resistor for the red LED. And the voltage here is best part of, it doesn't drop it much, 4.97 volts. If they'd lowered the value of this resistor, they could have actually nudged that down a bit by passing a bit more current through the LED. However, the voltage drop across the T4 uh, diode here is roughly about 0 0.6, 0 0.7 volts under load because it's passing 5 milliamps into this lithium cell. But as the voltage rises and the current drops, the voltage drop across the diode also drops. And when I removed the lithium cell from the circuit, I measured the open circuit voltage at 4.71 volts, which is quite high for a lithium cell. Not sure how that would pan out. Mm. Anyway, they could have lowered this down to, say, 4.2 volts. And then it would have not quite charged the lithium cell up to full capacity, which would have prolonged its life. And that would have given a bit more leeway. Uh, but they didn't. Anyway, that's the switch there that switches via the 10 ohm resistor to the the roasty hot little LED that is being pushed a bit further than the normal 20 milliamps you'd expect the maximum for the straw hat LEDs. Very strange. The divider did have potential, but they just then kind of like defeated it. Hmm, very strange. But there we have it. Um, so do I recommend these? No, not at all.
I'm not even going to provide you a link to it because I just don't like things that overcharge lithium cells because even though this is a very dinky little lithium cell in here, it still has a potential to go pop. Uh, I mean, it's probably not going to set, it's not got a huge amount of energy, but uh, it could still potentially cause little issues, little puffs of smoke and embarrassment and possibly flames as well. Never really tested one of these tiny cells, but I know that a similar product, uh, while being charged uh, at work, uh, did pop and shoot some flames out. But there we go. Uh, the little pink um, keychain light, very retro design, very basic design, really needs upgraded. It's not anywhere near the other options for rechargeable USB torches or flashlights.